Well, 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 well. Look what I have here. Finally scored myself a project drum kit. Always wanted to restore one of these things. I just wanted a shitty old kit. No one cares about, no one's going to worry about. I got it off a good friend of mine, so basically going to restore it and sell it and basically going to go halves in the profits. So, like many drummers, I'm extremely broke, so this is going to be done on the cheap. It's probably going to be painted. I'm not going to wrap it. I, don't, I want to see what painting it's like, so I've got a cool idea what I've got in mind anyway. It's basically a thunder drum kit. Ignore the thing. If you have a look on it, on it somewhere, here we go. Focus. No, you can't. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Anyway, the brand name is Thunder. It would have been a reminds me of my first drum kit, which was a piece. So, anyway, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Quite excited. So I even got cymbals too. So I'm going to bring these, bring them back to a clean, restored state. Do the best I can. See how they come out. There's a couple of things I have got. I've got a kick. What's missing is a. A kick pedal, I've actually got a spare one, and there's also there's actually enough for three cymbals plus a hat, and there's only two cymbal stands. And coincidentally enough, I actually have a spare crappy cymbal stand floating around as well. So, this should be a nice little kit. There's a lot of bits and pieces that do need fixing on it, as you can see, it needs a lot of work, but I've got pretty much all my life to do this so. Hopefully I'll have it done this year. I don't want to leave it too late. It's beginning of a new year now, so let's see what we can do for restoration side of things. It will be done on the cheap, so as I said earlier. Interesting to see how it even sounds. I might even do a little demo once it's set. I'll set it up to see how it sounds. I won't touch anything and then even just it's amazing what a tune up can do, but yeah, I'll be putting new skins on it, but that'll be the last thing to go on it. New skins and it'll be a Shouldn't be a bad kit when it's finished, actually. It's going to look interesting. Let's put it that way. What I've got in colour scheme mine, and probably going to, people are going to laugh at me, but I've never seen a drum kit like it. It is going to be in the colour scheme of this dude. So, your son understands, little Spire of the Dragon. It's, it's going to be in the same colour scheme as that. So, it would be interesting to see how I'm going to make it work. I'm curious to know how I'm going to make it work. Heck, let's have fun with it. I mean, heck, yeah, it's not every day you come across an old drum kit to restore. They're just so hard to come by. Don't ask me why. In Australia, especially Western Australia, old crappy drum kits like this are so hard to come by now. Everyone wants them and restores them. Well, I want them for parts for other kits. It's just ridiculous. So, anyway, this is a freebie, so... Let's see how cheap I can keep this restored and I'll even keep you a total how much it will cost and this will be in Australian dollars, Perth Australian dollars because for some reason we've got to pay four times the price of what everyone else does. So it should be interesting. See how it turn out. We'll have a bit of fun with it. Cheers.